Hey all you Rasmonites and movie buffs, welcome to another round of the Cigarette Burns film reviews. This round's film, of course, is Charlie Kaufman's Synecdoche, New York, which was his directorial debut. Charlie Kaufman, of course, is best known for his producing of such films like Being John Malkovich, Adaptation, and Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Synecdoche, New York was one that really intrigued me when Jack brought it forth and the other members of our team agreed to do this film because anyone that knows the work of Charlie Kaufman knows that he had always been sort of filtered through another director. His best stuff, I think, are being John Malkovich, as well as Adaptation, which were both done from a directorial standpoint by Spike Jones. So I was very, very interested to see what he could do with just sort of being unleashed, as it were, and getting behind the camera and have his vision go from point A to point B in the finish without being filtered through someone else's eyes. And this is a film that you can't get everything out of in one view because it is the type of film I like in that it is extremely multi-layered. When you watch it the first time, there's no way in the world that you could possibly know what you just saw. And the second time, there's no way in the world that you could know what you just saw. The third time, there's really no way to know what in the world you saw. I've seen this five times now, knowing that it was coming up on this review, and I still don't 100% know what the plot line of the film is. I know what the basic premise is, which is that this playwright by the name of Caden, ironically the same name as my nephew, <laughs> so there's a little uh, tidbit about the life of the Razman, for those of you interested in it, but with this character that Philip Seymour often plays, Caden, he is a genius and he's given a grant and with the grant money that he receives he chooses to go out and basically reproduce his entire life meaning everyone he knows whether that be just an acquaintance or whether that be someone that's had a huge emotional impact on his life or whether that be his lovers or what have you everyone is involved along with this you know giant reproduction of New York City and it's a really interesting film but as I've said you don't really know what you're supposed to get out of this film when you watch it the first time and five times aren't really enough to get what you're supposed to get out of it because it's truly thought-provoking and it's truly metaphorical I mean there's stuff in there like I'll give you an example there's a scene right where the woman who plays one of Caden's lovers is trying to buy a house and this house gets on fire and so she says to herself you know I want this house but I don't want to die in the fire and that scene really stuck with me because I believe that if you can gather anything from watching Zenecdoche, New York, it is that it's about life and about the choices you make in life, whether they be good or bad or indifferent. And that's basically that character realizing, hey, I might want something, but the end result might not be worth obtaining what it is that I want. So that was really, really interesting. Beyond the metaphorical sense of this film, the thing that grabs you is 
the acting. The acting is just superb. In particular, the two actors that play Caden, which are Philip Seymour Hoffman, playing the actual genius who created the play, recreating his life, Tom Noonan, who plays the actor playing Caden in the play. Those two performances were absolutely phenomenal. This film also has the typical usage of female talent that is done with everything that Charlie Kaufman produces. So, the bottom line about this film is you're going to enjoy it if you enjoy being challenged, if you enjoy thinking, and if you enjoy various interpretation because you really get a different thing out of this film every time you watch it and it really is hard to pinpoint one thing or the other. I'm going to give this film from an overall standpoint four stars. It misses out on getting a five because I don't think it's as good as his Spike Jones work. At times it seems like it can be interpreted as self-indulgent and really, really wrong. So I had to kind of take a point off for that. But if you can go into this film knowing that it's a Charlie Kaufman film 100% and really just judge it for what it is, you will not be disappointed. So yeah, four stars for me. Check it out if you like Charlie Kaufman's work. I will see all of you next time for another The Cigarette Burns film review.